So I'm in LA, Culver City to be exact. Going to be shooting an event tonight for some fashion brands, some bloggers, influencers here, here in LA. And uh, it should be pretty cool, so check it out. You guys are going to go like behind the scenes with me as I uh, photograph this event for some friends. So yeah, it should be pretty cool. Check it out. So my big daddy's antiques and this place is insane, you guys. So guys, just leaving this place and uh, done for the night, getting out of here, gonna get on the road. It's crazy windy out here. So literally my audio cut out, it was just too windy, the muffler on my microphone and everything didn't work. Uh, but this was a quick rant about rich people, people with a lot of Instagram followers treating some of my friends really badly, really poorly that night. And that is just unacceptable. Any way you put it, any way you I don't care how many followers, I don't care how much money you have, like treat people with respect and dignity and kindness. Agreed? Do you agree? Smash that like button if you agree for me. It's the weirdest night in LA. It's like cold, it's super windy, there's like buildings like swaying and stuff. It's really, really creepy. So, gonna get on the road home and uh, go see the loved ones. So I just got in from Los Angeles. It's, uh, it's past 10, it's like 11 o'clock or something like that. And now I get to sit down, edit and process and color correct images so I can get them to the PR company that I made some photographs for tonight. So those of you inspiring photographers, you wanna, you wanna do some real work. No, I'm just kidding, I won't be mean. Um, but really, that's what it's all about, is uh, are you willing to put the time in, you know, when you're tired, when you've been on the road, seeing the LA traffic, willing to put the time in and make it happen. And uh, right now I'm really hungry and I wanna make it happen. And it's part of it, so here we go. Let's get to work. Got a really, really cool card. Thank you card from somebody thanking us for just all we do in um, our church ministry and all that. And you know what, that's really, really cool. I love gratitude, I love people that express it. And uh, thank you so much for sending that. Made my night. Still working, tired. So as you can probably see, I got something in the mail. It is a Rangers digital filter kit. And this is a group of ND filters that will literally supposedly fit pretty much any camera. So we're gonna try this out. ND filters, let's talk about them real quick. So if you are shooting outdoors and you wanna make sure that you have um, good shutter speeds while you're filming, um, say you're shooting in the middle bright hot sunlight and it's just like crazy and you want to have like a low shutter speed and shallow depth of field and all that you need ND filters and so 
I'm trying these ones out from uh, Rangers. You can find these on Amazon. I'm gonna link below and you guys check them out. So let's go. Nice packaging so far. Kind of hurrying up today because I'm headed out to um, go do some shooting. Um, I want to show you guys something. Kind of a. Can anybody guess what I'm doing with this? Anybody? Talked about it a little bit on my Instagram. If you're not following me on Instagram, um, it's a good place to see photos. And I try and do a story every once in a while. So they have all of these different adapter sizes. Check it out, label on them, 49 millimeter, 52. So no matter what size lens you're using, you'll be able to use these filters with these, um, these step up rings. These are crazy, look at that stack. How cool that is. The filter holder looks a lot like the uh, Koken ones, if you've used those in the past. Wow, these are nice, check out that. Variable. Solid ND, super nice little filter organization system in there. Oh, and one more super um, important thing came in the mail. Check this out. If you shoot um, hybrid like I do, you shoot film and digital, it means that you have like old lenses from old cameras that are actually like really, really amazing. The optics are really, really awesome. So I have a Minolta. SRT 101, I'm gonna do a little story about this. It's kind of cool, my friend gave it to me and um, or bought it for me, I, I gave him some money. But anyway, this Minolta lens is a, is a Rokor um, multi-coated 55 1.7 manual aperture, manual focus, super smooth focusing. So I can use this lens on any of my Sony systems. Love. Uh, what Sony's doing with their cameras um, and I love being able to buy an adapter for like 20 bucks on Amazon and being able to take my old lenses and use them and get the characteristics and the beauty and the nostalgia um, in the bokeh and different things like that uh, of my old lenses on a new camera when you're filming or even doing photos. I use them for photos a lot. Uh, adapters are super cheap. They're, um, they're on Amazon and you can take a lot of old lenses that are really high quality fast glass, which means like a 1.4, 1.7, 1 1.8 aperture, and, um, and use them on the new cameras. It's pretty tight. So today, vlog viewers, we are going to film a, I don't even know what you call it, a short film, a micro documentary. But we're gonna go film my good friend Austin. Uh, just a great dude and wanted to film some of his story. So we're going out there and kind of film some of Austin's story. Um, it's pretty pretty incredible, pretty inspiring. And uh, you know, maybe I'll throw a few clips in right about now. kind of was always raised around church. Honestly, my mom, I couldn't really ever think of really a time that that my mom ever took me to church, really. Um, it was always me and my sister, and uh, you know, the neighborhood, neighborhood crew kind of just got on the bus and did our own thing and went to church, you know? And, um, but, you know, I never really had that, uh, that connection. Uh, you know, I've kind of like always knew he was there. Um, you know, sometimes I would pray like in difficult times. Um, but yeah, like I said, I never really had that that you know for sure foundation. So just out here shooting Austin. Oh, he's about to go on away. Yeah, Austin's out there. I'm in here. I'd rather be out there, but uh, it's all good. At least I'm uh, by the ocean. Alright, so, really so I was gonna do some vlogging, dude. Put this on the vlog, oh, but nice. I, uh, we'll have to put some of the footage in there, right? <laughs> I mean, I didn't get to like do any little 
behind the scenes stuff. We were busy. I didn't have an assistant. But um, anyway, this is Austin. That's that. This guy's moving, so we're not too stoked about that, but we love him, dude. Good interview, man. Good job out there. Yeah, thank you, man. So what's going on with our gas prices right now? Here filling up like Chevron 339 a gallon? Like, are you kidding me? Oh. Come on, Trump. 